Ryan, I'm really nervous about this week's show. How many times I gotta tell you? You don't got nothing to be nervous about. By the time it's over, we'll be off the rails, on the rails. There'll be popes and boners galore. Well, we have a crazy carpet, and I don't know where that goes. Yeah. And then we interview Father Robert Ballister about all sorts of stuff. He might get defrocked with all the pope talk. Well, I'll tell you, whatever happens, he's one cool guy who represents Jesuits very well. Uh, no matter what, it's all coming up on this week's episode of NSFW! Netcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. Bandwidth for NSFW is brought to you by Cashfly at C A C H E F L Y dot com. This is NSFW, episode 150, recorded back in 1912 on October 22nd. Pagan Babies. This episode of NSFW is brought to you by MailRoute, email filtering in the cloud for companies and resellers of any size. MailRoute offers live, human support, and one click sign up. For free posting migration and 10% off the life of your account, visit MailRoute.net. Click the sign up button and enter the promo code NSFW. What did you just do? I can make weird noise. Dude, can you do an impression of like dubstep for us? for the Weber Dance the show. You know, the one that's nominally safe for work. All you beautiful people, I'm Brian Brushwood. Joined by, wait, wait, stop the music, stop the music. The hell is that sound? And who the hell are you? I'm Padre, but there seems to be a voice coming from the other world. Because it's weird. Normally I do this show with a guy named Justin Robert Young, and he's just not here. There's not, it's, it sounds like he's in a car, Justin? <laughs> uh, hey, buddy, you should really be here so we can do a show. I can't. I'm in a car. <laughs> what? Well, then, it's a good thing that we took this desk and attached a piece of, of a freaking, of a broken uh, stool to act as a steering wheel, because we're going to pretend to drive on over to you. Well, I'm glad that that makes a lot of sense. <laughs> Look, here's the thing. Thank God. We hey, got... listen, everybody. We have problem solvers here on this show. I'm in a car, so the solution is <laughs> let's pretend there's another car. <laughs> yes. No, no. Two cars make a right. That's right. Uh, well, look, so here's the thing. We'll just road trip it. It'll be a magician, a priest, and a jackass, and we'll swap in stories. Two cars. One of them real and one of them fake. <laughs> well, As that old chestnut goes, a magician, a priest, and a jackass are in two separate cars. One is immobile and the other is driving. There's a phone in I'll tell you what. Podcast you're right. You're right. We got it. We got to kick this up a notch. Uh, Chad, what can you do? Maybe, uh, maybe. Maybe make this a little more realistic. What do you got for us, bud? A little more realistic? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't, um, well, we could, I don't know. We got noise. Oh, yeah, we, we got car noise, and then maybe, I don't know, add some car there stuff. There we go. Yeah, no. there we go. See, this is perfect. Yeah. There we go. You know what would know be great for car noise? What, with the actual yeah. car noise? Is if I was actually driving in a car <laughs> and had a mic that picked up all the audio. 
Well, fart in my biscuits. What do you know? What? <laughs> So, how far off are you? Because we're driving out to come oh, see you. Oh, no, you're never going to know. We're just going to meet halfway. <laughs> and then run metaphorical car into real car. That's well, what's going to happen. We're going to make a part of comedy. All right. Welcome to the 100th episode of NSFW, ladies and gentlemen. This is our sesquicentennial, 150. It is. It is. And so we decided to come up with the uh, with a, a, a salute to automotive history for hey, this uh, 150. Because <laughs> that's what nothing says success like your 150th episode being about driving in a car. Hey, uh, change the background. Give us a chat room. Give us something better. Send it over to, to Padre S J. Actually, here go. Yeah, there we go. Well done. Uh, all right, look. Here's the thing. This episode was not meant to be. It was actually. There wasn't time. Oh my God, it's so loud. I just want to punch the iPhone 5 in the face for being so good at grabbing loud noises in the background. Whoa, uh, whoa now you're bitching about the, the car noise? <laughs> I didn't know you were complaining about it not being pumped in. And now you're like, oh, F this car noise. Uh, all right, Justin, why don't you introduce our guest on today's episode? Uh, all right, uh, ladies and gentlemen, I, I mean, I've been friends. Uh, with with this guest for uh geez how long i mean i guess it's it's been uh five years now uh uh it's black and i bought it in south florida it's my toyota matrix that i'm driving in no your uh, your guest from, our yeah. guest oh oh well I, I i've only heard his voice so i really don't know whether or not he's actually there oh he is uh, i believe I believe it is, uh, of course, your friend and mine, and really uh, the only reason why me or Brian would be spared an unending eternity in a tormenting hell. It's Father Robert Ballister. Oh, my gosh. Of this week of Enterprise Tech, uh, actually... Uh, no, you got to do the other one. Uh, that's, yeah, that's fine. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, Father Robert Balser. Is it Balser or Balsar? Uh, you know, it, it's half a one six uh, sub uh, in the thing. It's it's pie. Yeah, is what it is. It's half it's half a one six pence none the richer. <laughs> it's <laughs> so the uh, uh, of course tell us uh, for anyone who doesn't know uh, this week in enterprise tech is fantastic. Uh, tell us people about it. Well, basically we get a bunch of geeks together. We talk about stuff that only geeks care about and then um yeah i go home all right that's good that's good, stuff. It's good, it's good show it's a good, good show. show it's a good show yeah, it's here on the twit network it's mondays at noon you know you should come by and uh maybe learn something you can get learned you can get some learning and a breakout hit by the way you know everybody yeah, yeah. loves that and everybody's all upon all upon your, your junk about that and rightfully so your junk should be all upon well is, there's a secret for that success and that is if you watch all 15 episodes, you will notice that in each and every single episode, there is some sort of uh, reference to the Diamond Club. Wait a minute. I, did, you, I knew you did that once. I didn't know you put that in every it's time. every single episode. you got to find it. Sometimes it's... I don't try to make it really obvious, but it's always in there. See, I don't know. I think uh, <laughs> the chat room is making fun of my driving. They say, smooth driving, asshole. You just hit that tree. <laughs> <laughs> you guys be cool. We're just trying to we're just trying to find Justin. He's around here somewhere. It's very hard to get him. Uh yes. wait a minute. You haven't arrived, have you, Justin? No, I'm in a car. Oh, okay. I don't know whether or not it's metaphorical yet. But hopefully maybe one day I'll get out of my real car and get into the metaphorical car for which you're driving. Uh yes. <laughs> All right. Well, look. Hey, what do we want? What do we want to do today? We we were talking about um, boners before the show. We were talking about weebos, nobos, uh, gobos, and probos. And uh, well, there's been a bit of an obsession lately uh, for me. I know about the weebo phenomenon. Yes. That um, we weebo, you know, of course, being uh, internet code for weirdest boner. Weirdest oh, that's what that boner, means. Yeah. <laughs> Who knew? Mm. Sorry, you were saying, Justin? Uh, yeah, and so we've been talking about it a lot. And uh, I, I just, I mean, maybe it's time that we expand that definition. Okay, so 
we decided, like, what uh, uh, what would a Pro Bowl be? Well, I mean, I guess, like, really, you, you cannot know what a boner truly is <laughs> until you see, until it is inspired and manifested. That sounds like some Eastern knowledge. By the way, how on earth how on earth do you get away with being on on the the show? Because you're a saucy you're a saucy Jesuit priest. I am. I am. Um, I will probably be defrocked tomorrow. I'm just hoping that there are no bishops watching this. Wait, now, what what kind of bow will you have when you get defrocked? <laughs> That's a sad bow. Wait a minute. I think we've almost think arrived, we've arrived, at arrived at our destination. Wait, there's Justin Rapp. Justin. Robert Young? Don't hit him. Wait, wait. Slowly, awkwardly walking into frame? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Here, you take the wheel, Abandon, Justin. And the now chip. that you're out of now that you're out of the uh here, hop you're in not there. Even well, you're, you're, well you gotta get on mic. Oh, you wanna get over there? I don't know. Where's no. the show going? All right, all right, all right. We'll, do, we'll actually do a show. I'll tell you what, Padre SJ, you can be the trucker over here, and we'll take the seats over here, and then we're going we're gonna to get this going. Tony, uh, leave all this in. Yeah. Awesome. It's, we I know are. you what we're going to do now, but well, we're here. The important, and here's the funny part, too, is we outlasted, did, did we outlast the sports ball game? We outlasted yes, we did. the debate. That's done. That's and, done. And, and the, did the good guys win? Giants, Giants won. So, Giants. so Tom Merritt will be walking around this next week at all his media appearances wearing a Giants cap. Even though he hates Giants. Even though, well, he doesn't hate the Giants. No, he, he hates anyone them. taller, <laughs> taller than seven feet. He's, uh, he hates the Giants. You He's know who he hated? Huh. Hagrid. <laughs> yes. It's like, yo, you know it was a real asshole, that story, and you're like, yeah. Voldemort? Yeah. No! Hagrid! <laughs> did you just oh, did you just oh, hit yourself? No! <laughs> oh, bad Padre. Yeah. Wait so, a Hagrid of the moment. <laughs> All right, so you just, uh, okay, back to our early question. How do you get away with the things you say you do? How do you get with, away with being such a saucy priest? I... Don't. There hasn't been any video proof. Are you? Now. Oh, okay. So, so, so like all that business with you describing all the different bows. So you may, you may receive a tweet from me tomorrow yeah, about. Oh, I'm gonna go into hiding for a while. Or, a, <laughs> you're, you're like I'm gonna have a, a I mean, like, bow. Right, and this is like, obviously, unless you do something horrifying, right? Like. You make a commitment, like, like, there's not a whole lot of people in the world that are willing to lay it on the line like you have for your cause, right? Uh, let's just say the last time I got called to the carpet, and it was a pretty big call to the carpet, was because... How nice can, of a carpet was it? Can, 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 we say, can, can, we, can we say? Can we say? We can, well, we're going to... I mean, I'm going to get kicked out anyway, so, okay. so <laughs> by this point, it really want, doesn't matter. I don't matter. want this to be the thing. <laughs> no, I, I did get in trouble for admitting in a tweet that, yes, I peed in the shower. And evidently, that's, like, huge. Now, keep in mind, like, but you were saying, like, there was no problem with skeet sheeting. Or, yeah. <laughs> I guess, actually, I'm not going to say this. It's just going to get you in trouble. It's for, forget it. Forget it. Uh, I, I've never said skeet sheeting. I've only <laughs> written it into comments. and Until now. Until now. Until now. Until now. That's, there, that's, that's, uh, yeah. That's, Who even knows what skeet sheeting is? <laughs> It's a, uh, it's, you know, it's, it's when you get three word, skeet yeah. sheets to the wind, and you just... You ever done that? <laughs> no. That'd be Wait, great, you're... though. I mean, it's like after... How much, how much effort would you have to put in a skeet sheet three sheets? Three sheets worth. Yeah. Uh, and then add a wind element, a wind variable. <laughs> <laughs> what if he did it in a wind tunnel? All right, imagine this. Wind oh, God, tunnel. Oh, no, this is bad. This three is sheets on different levels. Okay, all right. And you just kind of... Uh, let's say, That's some precision give the work old, there. Give the old forbidden oh. thank you. This <laughs> is the forbidden thank you. <laughs> and it's like when you call it the forbidden thank you, I picture like there's some guy in a foreign country who thinks he's being nice and just giving a thank you, and they're like by by ski cheating. No, it's like, and, then and, then, and then they're like, no, no, here, 
That is the forbidden thank you. <laughs> you must not express gratitude in this way, sir. But then you just respond by going, Shh. Forbidden thank you. It is my gift to you. <laughs> So anyway, <laughs> I'm sorry. Back to it. Remember when well, you used right, to here, here, Here's what I'm saying. <laughs> Wasn't that great when I could call myself Father Robert? <laughs> Let's just say, like, like there's, there's not, there's a certain amount of people that are willing to commit to anything, right? Like, it's hard for people to become, like, as excited. It's hard for, for causes to get people excited about anything, right? For, for your specific, the cause that you have dedicated your life to. There's not a lot, I mean, like, I would assume it's a relatively small sample size of people who are like, I'm doing this, and not only am I just kind of, like, into doing this, like, this is it. This is, this is the lock, stock, and, and, and seven, three skeet sheet barrels. Okay. <laughs> you see, there's, there's, a, there's actually a secret it's to that. Lock, defrock, and two yeah. smoking barrels. That's right. <laughs> you know, people in my line of work have committed themselves to poverty, chastity, and obedience, but I've also heard that uh, you only have to do one a week. So, sure. I mean, it's, it's all good, So you're good, saying right? mix and match. Yeah, exactly. So, like, do, do you write up a proposal where you're like, I want to go live and be a citizen of the internet and have a show and, and like, is this all outreach for you? Yeah, oh my God, wait, is this like, are, are we like an like a, a, a African village that you're visiting <laughs> yes, and befriending? Right. Exactly. You, with nothing you are pagan babies, that's, basically. Yes. Pagan babies yeah. and chat realm. You, you like, uh, you like uh, say, uh, this is my journey, and then you show them like uh, uh, 4chan, and then you're oh. like, I need to bring... The word. Yeah. Uh, yeah uh, it, no. It, it's... <laughs> no. No. You this, guys totally it, it's not even close. It, it could be. Can we make that pitch? <laughs> can we, can, can we why are we... It? And by the way, this is like, it's like, you're like, well, why not? What? <laughs> we're not, we're not heathen enough? We, we can put together, we can put together a, uh, a, a sizzle reel of, uh, of, of him, like, he needs, like, some kind of internet action item to like heal, you know, some kind of like demons out thing. I only. feel like I should be more of an atheist now so Father Robert can try and flip me. It's okay. <laughs> like, I feel like now, like, it's like, oh, well, we're not good enough. Yeah, we're not good enough to be proselytized. I, I don't think, I don't think I'm going to be flipping jury. That just, that, <laughs> that's, that's, un but I will say I, I would love to get a milk carton you know, pass around, put a little change into sure. it with a picture of, you know, help the pagan babies and then have pictures of you and Brian. Yeah, I mean, Photoshops. hell yeah. Photoshops of, like, goat babies <laughs> with your face <laughs> on it. And a goat. A goat. I'm just, <laughs> so I had a right, picture. Here's the, the, here's the picture. Didn't. The picture is my head on uh, the body of a baby goat and I'm feeding <laughs> a baby goat or, no, a human, a human body with a goat's face. <laughs> And it's called Pagan Farms. Delicious milk for the modern family. Self-sustaining. Exactly. <laughs> Wait, waiting for the <laughs> waiting for the photoshops on that. Oh, no. Who would, who would make a photoshop of that? I know. It's, it's... I'll tell you what. All right. So, uh, how did this even? And, and let's let's dial it back even further before right. we get into yeah. how you. So you're five years this. old. Five years. <laughs> what when when do you decide that yeah. this is the the way you want your life to go? Uh, good college. Was there a moment? Was there like a flashpoint? Yeah, you know, uh, so basically I had run my own business. I had done my own thing. I, I'd kind of done the, the richest thing. I'd done the power thing, traveling around the world thing. Very nice. You know, I'm not going to be one of these people who say what money is the root of all evil. It was a computer consulting business here in the Bay Area. Oh, really? And uh, you very successful. It was one of the very first. I mean, brag about it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> 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 you sit there and judge me. I'm joking. I'm joking. No, no, we're no. joking. We're friends. We're busting it's balls. Exactly. Come on. Hey, that's right. oh, oh, oh. Hey. Um, Sorry, go ahead. No, but uh, I didn't want that, you know? It, it's, it's one of those things where you, you, you kind of get to the top of what you expected. Sure. And then you peer over the top and you go, I want to do something else. So was it, I mean, was it, was it like an empty thing? Like, would, you know, did, did you, like, like, was it unsatisfying or was it just, did you feel like you could have more? No, it, it was that feeling of, I love this, this is good, this, you know, it helps me provide for my family, it, it lets me do many very nice things, but, um, yeah, it was kind of an emptiness. It's like, uh, I want to do, I don't want to just wake up every morning and figure out, okay, how am I going to make my next 10 grand, next 100 grand? Now, sure. do, do you feel, are you afraid as, as you begin your education and everything that, that you have to become dry and humorless? Or, I mean, because obviously you've got, uh, uh, you may be the most colorful padre I've ever met.
Yeah, uh, see, that's that's why I joined my order. My, my order is called the Jesuits. <laughs> the Society of Jesus. We're, we're kind of different. That we get in trouble crazy. for that. A you guys lot. are like you guys are the crazy frat. We are we're the for the frat. I mean, we got we've got guys who are Nobel laureates, and we've got guys who do stand up. Yeah, it's, it's everything in between. So eat some crap, rest of the orders. <laughs> <laughs> why are you gonna start a few? I know. All right. I know. Why all right. Are you gonna all start right. A few? All right. So I mean, like, cause yeah, to go back to where where you were before, like, you know. A lot of people would have that feeling and then they would like go to a movie or like bet $500 on a football game or, or do something that would be like, all right, well, let, let me just take up my time. It's like, ah, you know, I feel like I should have something more. I should start playing fantasy football. Like that's like where they go. That's a big step to then say, okay, vow of poverty, a whole nother way of, of, of doing things. Like, did you have somebody that you knew like in the order? Like, how does that even become... It's just like, what am I doing tomorrow? Are you Googling it up? And it's like, I don't know, join the Jesuits. Well, no, it's, it's just like, I mean, how, how do you ch anyone choose a career? It's, it's typically because you saw someone doing that yeah. and you said, I want to be like that. And, and in my case, I saw, I saw Jesuit priests and they loved their work. They loved doing what they do. You could see it. I mean, you know it when someone's happy and you know it when someone shows to work. Who and, did you know? Uh, I knew uh, a priest called fa named Father Drendel at Bellamy in San Jose and yeah. when I was in high school. And uh, it, yeah, it was that, that feeling of, I want what he has. And, and that, it's really that simple. What That's, did he have? He, he, he was happy. Um, you know, he, he, he had, had no the spark. He got that spark. Yeah, yeah. How, I don't know how you describe it. It's, it. it's like when you meet someone that you just, you want to be with. You, you, because they're, they're cool. They're fun. They're hip. They, they, they know what's going on. They know what they want. That's how I am with Chad. I know. Well, I mean, that's, that's why I kind of got this... This bro love for you, Justin. <laughs> okay, you know so then how does how do you take it? So I assume I assume you go through your education and you get uh, uh, your your papers. Uh, I don't know what yeah, do they well, give you. So by the time I'm all done, I'll have uh, you know a bachelor's, a couple of masters. I got a master's of divinity, which is the theology thing. Uh, at least one PhD. And what's yeah. a PhD in? Got, I, it'll, computer science or. Jesus. Communications. Oh, yeah. Jesus. Jesus science. It could be Jesus, Jesus. science. Yeah. Well, so, and so, how, I mean, so, like so you're still... like, you could, like, throw fireballs or something. Oh, okay. uh, how do can... <laughs> he's, got, he's got, like, the plus eight to charisma. Uh, so the, uh, uh, you, I mean, so you are continuing to educate. You're still going through this this procedure. I've been doing it for the rest of my life. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Well, I guess, yeah, that is that is the commitment. I mean, because that's the thing. It's, like, it's not like he has... You're like, like hey, I, I got a lot of time to fill, baby. <laughs> no, it's not it's like crime. <laughs> so, okay, so uh, how does the internet factor in it? How do you fall into to Twit? And, and and how does... the What is your schedule like that makes it possible for you to host this week in, in Enterprise Tech and continue to do your education as a Jesuit? Right. Uh, again, that's that weird thing about my, my religious order. When you, th I know when a lot of people think of Catholic priests, even if you're not Catholic, you think of the guy who's at your parish. Yeah. Uh, we do that a little, but we don't do that in the majority. Like do what? Uh, we're not normally Priesting. at, at uh, churches. Sure. So like universities, Santa Clara University, University of San Francisco, Georgetown, Boston College, we run those places. We do. We run this. We, that's, yeah. That's a whip, priest. Damn. We run this. That's right, son. <laughs> Represent <laughs> JC Styles. <laughs> Fire, fireball. <laughs> fireball. <laughs> ah, Jesus powers. <laughs> Sonic boom up your. Oh, no, sorry. Wow, this is close. Yeah. It's close. Yeah. It's close. <laughs> we're gonna get we're up, gonna up your spiritual void. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> Peace of the Lord be with you, yo. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. Um, oh, now that does get me defrocked right there. Uh, wow. That. Ooh. So, uh, what were we talking about again? Um, uh, you were talking about uh, how you guys aren't in church. Right. Uh, so we do weird types of apostolates, weird weird work, weird ministries. And uh, my superiors know enough about the world to understand, look, if, if you're good at something, we want to encourage you to do that. Yeah. And Twit gave me the opportunity. I mean, I, I, I don't know if you know, but the reason why I'm here was because uh, Tom Merritt invited me to be in the call-in show for TNT last year. And it went from that to, uh, hey, what you want to do a guest spot on TNT? Then it yeah. became, do you want to do a guest spot on Forecast? Do you want to do a guest spot on, spot on Twit? And then and all it was, of a sudden you're a talking head. It, yeah, all now, of a sudden. What, at what point do you confess your sordid double life to, to your friends over in the order? Oh, I told, right away. Okay. Yeah, that, that's there, are the, no there are no secrets. There are no secrets. Amongst the sons of God. <laughs> Fireballs. Fireballs. <laughs> Except for we well, never. Of course, they have the Jesus mind powers. Yes, yes. So you can't give a secret. Another Jesuit's going to go up and be like, 
Mm. Yeah. How is tech news today, Robert? <laughs> when, when we have drinks you before you dinner, have... <laughs> it's just like 18 guys sitting around quietly just... And then, then somebody thinks something funny and they all go, mm. uh, uh, mm. uh, uh. <laughs> so, so wait, not only are they, not only do they have my mind, but they're also these jerks who don't laugh at jokes. <laughs> they're also like comedians at a, at a comedy, yes, at a, at a comedy <laughs> store yes. or a, a magician at a uh, magic ironically, convention. Ironically, that is how they are very similar to, to atheist skeptics. And that they're all <laughs> here realizing, they're like, mm, 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 mm. And then they, then they advise how they, well, I, when I think that thought, I think it this it's way. Technically, not correct. That's Correct. But yeah, yes. Really, when you look at the research, it's, it bears a different <laughs> picture. But I, I, I like where we are, though, because we get we get it from, we get it from both sides. Uh, what does that mean? Uh, what does that mean? In that um, there are people on the religious right who hate us, and there are people on the religious left who hate us. And, and that's like we're right in the middle. All right, here, can you? What is you said that like the Jesuit order is is different right. uh, in these specific ways? Like you don't. Like hold, you're out in church every Sunday. Uh, you know, like most of the time, tending right. the flock. You right, know? right. Uh, what is like in, in the grander scheme of things? What is the Jesuit order there for in the Catholic Church? Uh, it depends who you ask. I'm asking you. Yeah, you ask, <laughs> you ask me the the role of the Jesuits. And, and this was actually something that the Pope said. So anyone who's religious watching this right now, I'm not this Dial is it up. heresy Dial or anything. Dial 877 this, the Pope. <laughs> this, and ask him, don't, don't be calling yeah, any Pope. cardinals, no bishops. No, it, it we, you know, that's like, a song. Be, that's a song. Don't be calling, don't be calling no cardinals, <laughs> no bishops. Dial me up, the Pope. <laughs> <laughs> we should we should have done troll pope with the troll well, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I got that big old hat and an ass so fat I'm the pope I'm the pope No cardinals no bishops Get that red hat out of here I'm the pope I'm the pope Freaking pope P O P E You ain't the boss of me only God. Yeah, only God. So he's like, uh, when I see a high walking by, I get a pobo. <laughs> oh, no. That's a sandwich in New Orleans. It is? Yeah. Not a po boy. <laughs> po boy. Yo, I'm hanging in the Vatican. Girl staring like a mannequin. I'm the Pope. Uh, anyway, so what was so it like seeing it? What the Pope say? <laughs> No cardinals, no bishops. <laughs> oh, I am so. Let me just take this yeah, off. Now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so okay. Well, and so speaking of that, I mean, obviously they're aware that you're out in the world, and uh, and obviously you feel comfortable enough to uh, at least find yourself in this situation. How do, how does that conversation go? Like like do you do you do you ask like uh, you know what about this? Too much? Not enough? Okay? No, no, no. Like they, they got a handbook? There's that uh, saying: it's always easier to ask for forgiveness yeah. than for permission. That's yeah. so especially I, when you're in the forgiven business. Yeah, I, I mean, I already know the conversation that's going to come from this because I my superior does watch this show. Yeah, because what? what's his name? Yeah. You don't give him a shout I, out. I, <laughs> Dave, I'm really, really, really sorry. But you asked me to do this, so it's all good, right? Yeah. This is, okay, look, for, Dave, listen. This, I, go, go to single on Brian. Yeah, Brian's Dave, got Dave. something to talk to Dave. <laughs> uh, Dave, go ahead. look, uh, uh, this uh, father of Robert Bowser is out there. He is, he is a shining beacon of joy and awesome and is representing the Jesuits. You should see the chat room. People are, people are like, I used to hate uh, Jesuits, but now I love them. <laughs> Nobody says that. No. <laughs> and now Jury is going to sing I'm the Pope again. <laughs> what? I'm not just sitting here quietly thinking of lyrics. <laughs> <laughs> lyrics so. that would be like, yo, they call me Benedict. <laughs> Girls are on my what? <laughs> I'm the Pope! Like somebody in the chat room's named Dave, and it says, Padre SJ, we need to talk. <laughs> this is the I, best show we've ever done. I may not be coming back from DC. Oh, no, 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 no. All right, well, I'll tell you what, listen, this would be a great time uh, for us to talk. 
about one of our sponsors, uh, Squarespace. No. Uh, MailRoute. Yes. <laughs> MailRoute.net, right? MailRoute.net. You know what? You know what spam's like? Sin. It's like Satan. Yeah. It's like sin. It's always there. It's seducing so you. I'm, all right, evil. I'm, I'm, I'm Satan, <laughs> and you're an inbox. Okay. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> hey, I'm Satan. <laughs> Ooh! Oh, you look mail really mail. succulent! <laughs> mail route! Won't you say it? <laughs> mail route! Oh, Put, maybe you're ticklish! Whoa, whoa, whoa! <laughs> whoa mail route! <laughs> save, come on, save me, man! Oh. <laughs> so, what we're trying to say <laughs> is that spam is very bad. <laughs> That it uh, it it is uninvited <laughs> and invasive, very invasive to your inbox. And it may be. Um, Don't make, let spam get in your inbox. Like may, I was trying to get it, Brian. It may be when you, spam tickles you, you start to sweat and get a sheet on your forehead. And uh, <laughs> and what you need is a service that can block. Spam, which is bad, like exactly. Satan. We yeah. all agree Satan, Satan is bad. Is bad. Yeah. And sin is bad. And, um, and, uh... Somebody it, say <laughs> sin? No. Mail I'm route. back. <laughs> mail route, mail route, mail route. Mail route is maximum <laughs> salvation. <laughs> everybody know, in case you didn't pick up on that, uh, I came back from Brian, and he just started reflexively saying, oh, mail route, mail route, mail route, mail route. <laughs> Like, it was not it. Uh, listen, uh, here's the problem, folks, is that sin is everywhere, spam is everywhere. It's trying to get inside of your inbox even now. It's talking. Here's a simulated conversation. I want to dig up in that inbox. What? Oh, I need to get in the inbox. That's what spam's saying to each other right did now. Not did not say what you thought it yeah, said. Okay, because I heard, okay, you said, you said I need to get up in that inbox. Did, okay, yeah. Because it did not sound like you said that. <laughs> it definitely sounded like it something probably else. probably sounded like something worse, right? <laughs> yes, exactly. It's, it's that too, friends. <laughs> Here's the deal. Mail route's going to stop it. Okay? Not only is it going to stop it, it's going to eliminate it. It will do its part to make this world less spammy. Uh, and, and here's how you do it. You just go ahead and edit your MX records. And as we know, if you do that, you're taking it to the max. Uh, how about, you know, I got some numbers for you. In the last 12 months, Mailrod's blocked two, uh, 235,000 spam messages for some dude, some LA resident named Tom Merritt. <laughs> That was 99.7% of Tom's total mail volume. You know what that is? He's swimming in spam. Yeah, he was, would be, except for... You know, he uh, was crammed with spam. That's what they said. They, Don't they get crammed with spam. They used to call him old crammy spammy. <laughs> the, the old like, spam cram. The old spam cram. Satan when you least expect... was just cramming spam right up him. Right up that inbox. It was just stuck okay. with it. <laughs> just like that. Don't do this. <laughs> Enough of that. Mail routes here for you, folks. You know, listen, if you run your own mailbox on your own server, this is indispensable. I want you to go on over to mailroute.net and uh, and use promo code NSFW. Brian, you know what you're going to get um, from promo code NSFW? Fired. No, you're not going to get fired. In fact, you bring this one to your small business and you say, listen, mail route, you're going to get hired again. They're gonna have a commitment ceremony when you're hiring. And they're gonna they're gonna, gonna renew your vows. They're gonna they're, renew they're your gonna, hiring. They're gonna, they're gonna have a flower girl. Exactly. And then they're gonna hand out the same like W9 again, and you're gonna fill it out again, and you're gonna get teary-eyed because your job's and it's the, magical. And your boss is gonna look at you like this. <laughs> and then you get in that way that he always does, and your heart's gonna melt, and you're gonna know. You're gonna know in your heart that you did the right thing when you called mail route. Absolutely. Dot okay. net. Uh, and also I think we mentioned something uh, last week on this show. And, and folks, it, it's a real thing. Uh, Postini is dying. <laughs> it's gone. gone. It's, 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 it's gone-ish. It's, it's, look, Postini's it's, it's, out, mail routes in. Just make, make the move. Hey. <laughs> I am on my deathbed. I am Postini. I, am, I used to be a powerful warlord. And now 
I see dying. Oh, you, you don't need to stay with me, Postini. No, no, you go. Find love again. Find love with no, mail no, rounds. No, 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 no. Yes, mail rounds. No, go before I leave. Don't see me like this, I'm Postini. Oh. Free Postini migration, Brian. For all mail route customers, <laughs> free postini migration. <laughs> and, and you know what it gets? 10% off your order when you use NSFW. Do me a favor, everybody watching live, everybody listening to the podcast, <clears throat> Tom from Mail Route, patron <clears throat> saint of this show. Absolutely. He is an absolute god to everybody who likes this show in a way that we will only talk about in like three years. Um, <laughs> Go ahead and just <laughs> blow up their 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 Twitter account and uh, just yeah, let no, them and that, know that is legit because that is one thing uh, they they support our our goofy shenanigans because they know that you guys are committed you get excited you make some amazing things happen for them so let's show them some love right now uh, on Twitter absolutely and that brings us to the end of this week's <laughs> mail route raid. <laughs> And they will only get more ridiculous every week until you get a mail route account. Does anybody have the address for, uh, is it Truck Masters, that uh, truck driving school? I might need to change uh, <laughs> professions here. Just, uh, it's not, uh, it's, it's Postini. <laughs> dot, not, no, no, it's, no not it's not. I used to run a trucking company. They used to. <laughs> they they I eventually lost control of the syndicate. I was fed a poison turkey's club, and I died. No, you do not need to stay with me. No, not to mail see route. me like this. I'm posting. Mail route, mail route, mail route. Oh, okay. I may need to actually go to work at mail route now. <laughs> Are you hurrying? You know what? A funny, uh, funny thing, Evan, uh, at... Oracle's Open World, which just mm. happened down here. Of course, you do. How the hell did you do that? How did you go from a, a pawing, uh, molesty spam Satan to, uh, that's, that's you know, that's interesting. Uh, you know, uh, we should talk about at Oracle Con or whatever it was. That was Oracle sorry, World. Was Oracle, Oracle Girl. Yep. Yeah. Open World. Oracle's Open World. Or uh, I was there Oracle for, for the girls. Go game. And I was uh, handing off while you were playing a, a big, mm. awesome custom game. And uh, somebody takes a flyer and goes, like, Thank you, Justin Robert Young. And it was somebody from Oracle who's a friend of yours and a friend of uh, Leo's. So you know what that means. You now have to be a guest on This Week in Enterprise Tech. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, number one... The Tell, telling that story. I <laughs> that, say that's that's the, one, the one thing. And he can sit there and mock you on his show where you're, like, you're telling the story and he's like, oh, Oracle World, that sounds great. And, it, and the guy, he's like, oh, he accepted the flyer? And he knew your name? That's, that's amazing. What happened next? And then at some point you feel like, is this... <laughs> this is how I feel. No, but see, you've got, then you turn into Postini. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Me, Postini. I have awakened from my nap, and I now talk to you about... <laughs> doing the Postini characters, it almost makes Postini too lovable. <laughs> we don't want you. Free Postini migration, Amira. Uh, so, so Enterprise Tech, is that, that's what your business was before. Right. Uh, you started, you got into the, the, the Jesuit lifestyle. By the way, how people were asking how, how old you are. I don't know whether you want to portray your, your actual age. but Somewhere between 35 and 52. Okay. Okay. You don't look older than 35. Oh, well, I'm you, way you older look like than 35. Baby. Like, add a couple you look like decades. A child. Nuh uh. It's, that's the Asian DNA. So, what's going to happen is now, I'm going to. What race are you? Uh, well, that's, that's hard that's, to say. That's, that's, that's good interviewing, right? That's. <laughs> You get someone on, and you just like, no. See, what yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on, wait a minute, dial it. I'm just gonna coach Brian. Stay right there. Okay, now try it a little bit more thoughtful. Hand, hand gestures, hand gestures. Brian, yeah, mm. come up, come from up here. Okay, all right. And all then right. point accusingly. <laughs> from here. Okay, okay, okay. Just there. The, the, the thoughtful cue to the gotcha. Okay. Yeah, gotcha. <laughs> What race are you? <laughs> Owned it. Owned okay. it. Okay. Uh, and listen, I, I don't want to, this is, this is I, I never do this. I never, I don't want to step on you. Let me just give you a guideline. Please, please. Here we go. As Postini. <laughs> oh, 
What race are you? <laughs> oh, come That's on. And the award uh... goes to. <laughs> no, now you now you try it, okay? Right. Do me a favor this time. Yeah. <laughs> the double guns? Double fingers. I'm unfeel it. Hang up. Go. Bring it back. Bring it back. Another lap around the track. I'm, Another I, lap I, around I'm the sorry. track. You got it. You got it, All baby. Right. What well, race are you? <laughs> Paul through him. Paul through him. <laughs> <laughs> no, but seriously, what race are you? <laughs> If you want to get I, I, a Filipino, but I mean, my, my people have been conquered by everyone with a boat and a free weekend, so there's some, pretty much a little bit of everything in there. It's a real grab bag. Yeah, it's DNA it's meatloaf. It's <laughs> genetic meatloaf. That's, that's your race is your descendant of meatloaf. Mutt. It's, it's a great. Yeah, 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 it's yeah. good. <laughs> meatloaf the great and powerful. <laughs> uh, no, seriously, I would, I would think that like if you logged in and said like I was, that you were, that you were 29, I'd be like, buy it. Yes, I totally would. Well, especially because he was talking about uh, getting, you know, PhDs and stuff. I was like, oh, late like 20s. And then he's just like, the range starts at 35. Yeah. And then he's like, then he drops the bob. Like, I'm 80 years <laughs> old. <laughs> I will look like this until I'm about 70. And then one day I'm going to age sandpaper. like 80 years. Bam. Yeah. yeah. It's, like, it's like the picture of Dorian Gray up in here. It's like, bam. <laughs> So yeah. you're Dorian, Dorian Asian. <laughs> we got, we, we got super oh, milk. No. <laughs> <laughs> Who was that? Who was that? Where'd that come Doesn't from? Doesn't matter, bro. It's chat room. Oh my gosh. Ours is not to ask who who, who did that one. <laughs> Ours is to laugh. Poor and pagan good babies. On you, sir. That that show title, Pagan Babies. Pagan, pagan babies. babies. Absolutely. <laughs> uh, so, all right. What is the goal? For the Jesuits uh, of you of you being here, what are they getting out of this? Obviously, you're having a good time. You're hanging with your friends. Uh, what what is it? What is in it for them? What's in it for God? <laughs> What's in it for the Pope? The Pope. The Pope. The, the, oh, the, the, P O P E. I want to know where my money be. I'm the Pope. <laughs> 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 oh, no, it, it, no, it goes. It goes back to the question you asked before, which is, you know, what's our what's our pony in here? What's what our is, dog in it? Exactly. And, and, which is where the whole thing came from. This is what we do. This is what we do. We got all the way back. This is, this is, this is so. Back it's just like this entire episode has been about one question <laughs> that almost gets what are answered we doing? once. <laughs> Everything is a giant <laughs> side. Yes, this is great. It's a good interview. It's, it's great. Kill it. This is a great. It's killing. It's good. All right. Another beer. Another beer. Oh no! It's all about you know we we we're so. Our job is to drag the church yelling, kicking, and screaming into the next century, into the next millennium. And, you know, it's, it's all about what are people listening to right now? Where do people get their information? How do people communicate? And the, the, my church is just kind of figuring that out, right? I mean, people figured it out a long time ago, but it, it used to be if you controlled um, the, the scribes who wrote things down, you yeah. controlled culture. You control the medium. Right. The message, yeah. You, you control the printing press, same thing. You can control the uh, uh, in the Industrial Revolution, the development of industrialization. Now it's, look, it's all about IT. It's all about the information technology. It's all about looking and understanding the ways that people talk to one another. But really, it's I mean, to get serious all No, 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 because no, no, I'm very no, interested and, in this. And, like, because now it seems like the issue isn't, like, you would want to control stuff in the past because you didn't want to be misrepresented. Right. You know, now we have so much information uh, that really the, the issue is clarity as opposed to a defensive nature of not wanting the wrong stuff to get out there. Right, right. And, and you know, when I, when I told my superiors and I explained when to them... I told the Pope. When I told him. <laughs> T-O-L. <laughs> <I> told <laughs> no, it, you know, the way we explained it, we said, look, there's going to be mistakes. There's going to be things that people say that you're not going to like, that are not going to be representative of the church. But... You got to do that. That's that's how this well, and, works, and it now. really is. It's uh, we have entered a real uh, warts and all age where it's like nobody. Uh, and in fact, we've actually come to a time where on the internet, people respect you more if you live your life in public, skeletons in the closet and all. You know, I guess out of the closet. Yeah, skeletons. Uh, Ske skeletons. <laughs> Ske uh, skeletons. Skeletors. Skeletors. Skelbos. In the gray skulls. Skelbos. Right. The skelbos. Skelbos. That's that's the real. That's hundred and nine bones. 
How many bones are in the human body? Who knows? Well. Only one that matters. <laughs> Am I right? Hey! 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 hey. Um, <laughs> no, but seriously, like, I would never, like, I, the fact that you're on here, and I'm not even, this isn't even a joke. I think everybody watching, like, there's a, a fundamentally different way that they would think about not totally. only just the Jesuit order, but also the Catholic Church. Because the Catholic Church, obviously, <laughs> listen, <clears throat> there are a lot of issues in the Catholic Church that get a lot of press that, you know, are not positive. Yes. Uh, there are a lot of, I think there's a lot of fundamental stuff that I think in general in American culture with religion in general and, and the Catholic Church specifically, we got to take for granted because we know it's like, it's just kind of always there, specifically with charity and stuff like that. Uh, but like, for the idea that there's this element of the Catholic Church... Uh, for those you know who are interested in the church, the fact that they know that that exists, I think is a very, it's a great thing to have out there. The fact that that information is out there is amazing. And that specifically is my job. My job is to find those moments when people either write in the chat room or I get an email or a Twitter, a, a tweet saying, I didn't know priests could do X. Yes. That's yeah. what I want. They're like, you should see us on LSD. I know. <laughs> <laughs> That's like that's like that's like that's like priest like uh initiation. Yeah. yeah. It's, like, it's like it's like, oh welcome, you are now a priest after you take this white blotter. And you're like, I didn't know this was okay. And then meanwhile, the darkened the shadow of the Pope walks in and says, Oh yes, it's on. And then he opens a beer on his hat. It's just <laughs> got real, yo. Yeah. He, he tilts it back, disco -P -E. lights come out. Let me answer my celly. I'm the Pope. On the phone with Robert B. <laughs> so, uh, but but because uh, we, we asked this after, because uh, you popped in in the after show for for NSFW, and uh, and then after even after we went off the air, I was asking you if 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 you know part of your. Uh, you know, uh, part of your witnessing is just by being being a cool guy to the internet because you know you don't you don't see that a lot from from somebody overtly representing a religious or order. Right. Yeah. Well, I mean, because what do people think of when they think of a priest? They think of someone who okay, he's 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 praying, he's doing something, he's doing his pray thing. I don't understand any of that. But you know, in my experience, the people I live with. They're all professionals. Yeah, you know, they're they're doctors and lawyers and scientists and engineers and artists. Um, I spend almost as much time doing video editing and content creation as I do doing what someone might consider, you know, priestly things. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, and, and you know, when you think about it, yeah, that's that's how it should be, right? And no one who has a profession does just that thing. Uh, so yeah, my job is to make people see uh, there's another side to it. And most of the time. I'm like this. In yeah. fact, right now I'm kind of self-censoring myself. It's well, you know, exactly. actually, I and, guess. And, and and you should. All right. Well, we brought up something that was very uh, interesting, especially like that we didn't know a priest this could is, do. Is a corobo. <laughs> a what? Corobo. A corobo. Corobo. Not a bebo. No. Well, I guess it's a bebo. It's, it's a, a subcategory of bebo. Exactly. <laughs> it's a Did that get acquired by it's Google? Me. Bebo. Yeah. Sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> Is that, that a, make that is that a swore for the Italian mafia like, boss? Google too? gets a Bebo. <laughs> All that and more coming up on TNT. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, you, people said, I didn't know a priest could do that. I want to go ahead and have in the chat room people listing things that they oh didn't think gosh. a priest could do, and we're just going to get ge general <laughs> guidance. General you. guidance. He's going to put on a uniform. All right. All he's right. Gonna, he's going to... A turn, huh? I'm general guidance. Yes, exactly. So, uh, sex. Nope, no sex. No go. No That's fire no go. eating. Fire, fire eating? Yes. Yep, yes. All right. Pot? Uh, you can. You shouldn't. Yeah! Well, <laughs> well no. All right. P O P E. You know that I'm blowing trees. I'm the pro. <laughs> Legal in the Vatican, baby. I make the rules. Sovereign nation. <laughs> uh, so, uh, so you, I mean, obviously illegal in this country. Yes. God's yes. law. Um, yes. Yes. Right. So, uh, booze. I uh, guess. Yes. Booze to excess. No, no. Although, yes. Yeah. <laughs> 
What yeah. is <laughs> I don't even know what that means. Uh, attending a cockfight. All right, people, all right, somebody's asking. Uh, it depends what you mean by cockfight. Oh, I mean, chickens going out. Okay, that's, yes. That's, that the, the, probably didn't speaking help. Speaking of cockfights. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, uh, 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 something's come up many times, and I'll do my best to dance around. That's <laughs> probably. Okay, good. Um, what about buying a Mitsubishi? <laughs> Not smart. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Unless they start sponsoring. Because you should be buying a Ford. That's right. That's right. Ford Sync. Sorry. Uh, what if you sink your own Ford? <laughs> Can you, as a as a priest, you know, <clears throat> sink yourself? Ah. I don't know what you... See, you, you got your sink... Yeah. System. Well, you had, yeah. you had your equipment. You had yeah. your four, okay. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you know? you, you're talking about fl flushing the system? No. Oh. I'm talking about <laughs> sinking everything. What? How is that? What are you doing? Are you talking about eating your That's own That's after poodle? years of no. yoga. It's, uh... uh like, like, let's say you're going to stick your own <laughs> key into your ignition. <laughs> <laughs> Why would you go there? We were asking about it. Oh, I'm okay. I didn't... Think you would really ask that, but uh, is that is that immoral? Oh, you can only do it once <laughs> on Rosh Hashanah, and only for charity. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I, I, I will say this. I will say I, I know there's there's going to be a lot of self pollution yes. questions yes. In, in the chat realm. That's that's fine. I, I, I won't. This wasn't me per se, but I, I did hear a story of of a young seminarian who was once asked if. He had a problem with self pollution. Okay. Yeah. And yeah. the response he gave was, "No, it works every time." Wow. Hundred percent success rate. Hundred percent guaranteed. Success. Guaranteed. guaranteed. <laughs> um, just like mail route. Yes. <laughs> mail route. Exactly. Ninety nine point seven percent of the time. Uh, listen. He got what word. he wanted out. <laughs> Tweets. Tweets. Uh, uh, he offers salvation one way. Uh, for us, salvation will come when you guys tweet mail route repeatedly. Ooh. Like saying good things. Yeah. About the sponsorship. Not like. Wait, not like don't don't spam mail route. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing tonight? Would you forget it? Yeah, don't get stuck with them. I'm just no, saying. No, no, no. Just you might this might be off putting, but I work at the Bank of England. <laughs> And I would like to offer you four hundred million dollars. <laughs> Unfortunately, I have to get it out of the country. That said that, <laughs> why would the Bank of England have that? Accent? All right. Uh, oh, are Padres allowed to send spam? Um, like the delicious no. sandwich meat. No, I'm talking no. about this, the sinful, unwanted messages. Absolutely. <laughs> Not. <laughs> are you allowed to use mail route? You know what? We're actually required to use mail. Yeah. There you go. All right. <clears throat> uh, let's do this. Just to wrap everything up here. Project forward. Tomorrow morning. <laughs> maybe two hours from now. What? What? Someone had another P.O.P.E. line. <laughs> included the... <laughs> That's a, it, not only a sponsor, it, 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 but also an incredibly unfortunate <laughs> word. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so let's flash forward to tomorrow morning, or maybe two hours from now, uh, and you get the call. Like, uh, what's your game plan? It's, what's, it's, you you, you got to practice to pay. You don't want to go in cold for explaining, you know, what's up. Um, I, I will say, wasn't me. <laughs> seems legit. Wasn't seems me? Legit. Yeah. That's, seems sorry. legit. Yeah. Awesome. All right. Well, is that it for this episode of NSFW? It's been um, like an hour and a half. Yeah, I think with the with the uh, with the auto, uh, the we're gonna have to cut out the middle from from go like the. Well, Although there's a good montage <laughs> with the that? yakety sax. <laughs> was was it was tighten? Yeah, no, tighten. I think uh, yeah, we'll just we'll just tighten it up a little bit. Tighten up. Uh, but no, definitely, I, I'll tell you what I think. Padre SJ has always been, uh, you know, I would say among the amazing, brilliant people who populate chat realm and are here in the chat room every single week you're easily the most fascinating figure because like you know everybody else is you know they're just kind of sitting at home like they're not doing like they don't have uh at least jobs that would be contradictory to the kind of things that they constantly say there you've always you've always been awesome uh, you've always been a gigantic supporter of the show i can't uh thank you enough well, for, thank uh, you for, for not only 
being a being a friend of the show, but also coming on and, and answering all these questions because they're not number one. It's not like we pulled punches. Uh, no, and it's not like you pawed me and got me sweaty. <laughs> It's, it's a special, there's a whole, there's a whole another motion. 30 minutes to it's, Brian's reaction. Because <laughs> I, I made the decision as I was about to go in that I'm like, I'm going to try and grab his crack. <laughs> and Brian's response and was just, ah! <laughs> they're up, they're up, they're up. I need an adult. All right, movie draft minute. Let's do this. Do we have audio? The second that you see it pop up in chat room doesn't mean that I can grab it and start playing it. Oh, no, I already have it loaded up and everything. It's oh, I don't have I don't have your profile on. Oh, well, I don't know. Okay, By here. Way, Brian, can you I'll just show play it myself. One second. Spam touched you? Uh, is... Of October 22nd. 20... <laughs> Welcome to your Movie Draft Minute for the week of October 22nd, 2012. I'm your host, Roberto Villegas. The seasons change, but the movies keep on coming. Here comes week four. Sarah Lane's in sixth place with $9.1 million. Tom Merritt's in fifth place with Alex Cross bringing in $11.7 million, bringing his total to $34.9 million. Cross. Scott Johnson's in fourth place with $37.1 million. Brian Brushwood's in third place with Paranormal Activity 4 bringing Screwed. in $30.2 million, bringing his total to $88 million dollars. Justin Robert Young's in second place with 105.9 million dollars. And in first place with 147.3 million dollars, it's Padre Robert Balasar. Yeah! And that is your movie draft minute for the week of October 22nd, 2012. Killing it. Dude, I got one more week on top. Maybe one more week Hotel on top. Hotel Transylvania has that, been... Yeah. Uh, it's going to get another bump. Falling out of control. Yeah, I, I'm thinking I get another bump for the... Uh, because they're doing a big promotion for uh, for the Halloween. But then I don't have a movie for two months after Silent Hill. And Silent Hill will do maybe 20. I mean, here's the problem. The math is pretty simple. Yeah. Uh, even, even, to, even conservatively thinking, uh, you got... Uh, uh, what was it... Um, the, what, what's the one that we're talking about with Santa Claus? Uh, oh, the Rise, uh, of the Rise of the Guardians. You got Rise of the Guardians at a hundred million minimum, and then you yeah. got yeah. Well, I'll stake bet you on that. You I already already bet your <laughs> minion about that one. Well, but he said he said hundred and fifty. He said one fifty, which I still think he'll be right on. Uh, and then uh, and then you got the Hobbit doing three hundred million guaranteed, guaranteed. That's he's he's already on track for four hundred million plus the thirty million he's already sitting on. This guy? No, Tom no, Mayer. No. Oh, Tom Mayer's got yeah, this yeah. thing. There's no way. The only way. I have a chance is if uh, Cloud Atlas is a breakout hit that nobody expected and it didn't. It might, I'll tell you, it's tracking well. Yeah. Uh, people are talking about it a lot. 75% positive reviews on Rotten Tomatoes. I, I think by the end of it, I'll be lucky if I break 300. But you want to know what? The one, the, the big Dark 300 Horse. 300 is respectable in, in the fall. Yeah, you know, I'm out of steam though. The, the big Dark Horse is exactly just what Bond does. Because to yeah. me, Bond has has ridiculous potential. Like, it has Hobbit potential. Really? The, with the reviews on it? Yeah. Like, it, it's got, like, 99% good reviews. Wow. Uh, so it, it's like, you know, the idea of what is the brand value of Bond plus the best Bond movie ever made equal in today's, you know, movie, uh, you know, movie situation where, like, people go to see franchises just because they know... That it's a franchise. And, uh, you know, I, I, I finally saw the trailer for it. Les Mis will top 100 mil. It will not. It, I, it oh, looks incredible. I smell a like, Seriously, it looks incredible. That's I'm way overextended. <laughs> D-O-P-E. I give away the steaks for free. D-O-P-E. You ain't getting steaks from me. I'm the Pope. <laughs> I love how even in my raps I have to yell that, that twice the character's name. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the Pope. Amazing. Oh, no, no. Uh, uh, all right, yeah, Andre's allowed to gamble and, and make steak bets? Oh, yeah, yeah. Ooh. Big time. <laughs> wow, yeah, that's good. As we all know, as the scripture teaches us, uh, on... Roll them uh, bones. Yeah, it's Jesus walked go, into the I'm church so and flipped the table full of steaks and said, this is a house of God. <laughs> Not steaks. <laughs> Amazing. What else? Uh, quick. There's the last few seconds to ask what, what Priest can do. Show is through and it breaks my heart because I just can't it make bear to be a part of Oh, there we go. Oh. Yoshi, of course, made a 150 uh, uh, anniversary. Oh, that's fantastic. the episode art, which is amazing. Who's that to the right of Max Trollbot? That's Tony. Oh, my God. 
believe it. Demon Eyes. That's a really good Tony. It's a devil Tony. Tony. Max Trollbot, Mr. Happy's Man. Pete over Yeah, uh, with, with Chad. Red Jammer Bean, Veronica Belmont looking more alive. There's crying Chad, that's awesome. Devil F and Dog. Scott F and Dog Johnson, yeah. Holy cow, that's great. And then me, Leo, and, and Brian. Uh, by the way, 150 episodes. Holy they, cow. And they said it wouldn't last. I don't know if anyone, I mean, I guess we said it wouldn't last. Well, time. yeah, we don't believe it'll last. Yeah. Just, we're still waiting to be figured out. Exactly. Might not last after this episode. Uh, we're once, they get see, brought down. once they see Devil Spade. <laughs> 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 So long, people. It was a good run. I had a fire. <laughs>